we'll take a good look at that now i think that's looking super super cool hey guys welcome back to icraft mc's world in this episode of my let's play we're gonna go over to that mountain over there and actually build ourselves a really cool watchtower between here and the village but before we do that we're gonna to make today's banner of the day this banner also needs a flower charge and a white thing charge so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a gray banner and a white dye in the white flower charge shape made with an oxide daisy and a piece of paper next we're going to the white thing pattern made with a piece of paper and an enchanted golden apple next we're going to a white skull charge which is made with a uh, wither skeleton skull and a piece of paper and we're going to make that in the white skull charge pattern which is this pattern right here and we're going to end off last but not least with a yellow rondel which is this pattern right here and you can see what it makes it makes a fried egg pattern oh this is a very interesting banner and i just think although it does use all those patterns it is pretty cool to just see a fried egg on a frying pan and it's a food banner which is one of my favorites too so we'll go over here and place it next to all of our other cool banners so there it is there's our fried egg banner Anyway, I have a whole bunch of supplies together to make this really cool watchtower. But before I can do that, of course, we're going to have to work on the area where I'm building to actually make it a nice buildable surface. Because for now, this is just a wild mountain between the village and our house. So I want to make it right about up here. I think it'll just be a really cool uh, marker point and it'll kind of signify the area between here and here. So we're going to basically start working on... Uh, just some excavation and some landscaping of this area to make it nice and flat and buildable. And what I'll do is I will do a time lapse of that and I'll be right back uh, or back in a bit here once that is all flattened out and ready to be built on. So the, all the trees in this area have now been chopped down and this area has been flattened out, making it ready to be built in. So we're basically going to be building a really cool watchtower and the floors of it are actually going to be calcite, a new uh, 1.17 block. And basically the floor plan is going to be really, really simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and find roughly the center of this area, maybe go in about two, three blocks from the edge like this. That should be fine. We're basically going to go three blocks like this, one block like that, three blocks like this, one block like this, three blocks like this, one block like this. And then we're going to get rid of all the stuff in here because we're basically making a, a small circular pattern like this. So now it's all like that. We're just going to fill this all in with calcite. And what's interesting is that calcite is actually a form of marble, which is really cool, or a part of marble. And although you can't, uh, unfortunately, polish it, it does have a really cool texture and actually reminds me a bit of maybe clouds or something. It's really, really cool. All right, we're going to start by grabbing this uh, spruce, uh, stripped spruce log here. And I want to have four pillars on the edge here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold down click, spread it like that, and I can actually divide it evenly into four piles of 28. This is going to give me seven stories. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically make big pillars going all the way up like this. And it should be a super easy way of just getting nice support beams. And of course, on top of this will be a nice lookout. But overall, the tower will be maybe somewhere around 35 to 40 blocks tall. Just tall enough so you can have a nice view all around the entire area. Should be very, very cool and neat. So I'm going to put all these towers in and I'll be right back. All right, we now have our four cool spruce pillars going up into the air to support the main structure. Now we're gonna need four stacks of cobble deep slate because we're gonna need approximately that many of these deep slate brick walls. These are gonna be what's gonna provide some more support and some nice visual to the wall. So we're gonna add that uh, now, but we're not gonna turn all of this into the wall, we're just gonna turn uh, most of them, we'll actually maybe go like this and like that. There we go. And the rest of these we're gonna turn into uh, some of this polished deep slate here. 
All right, so we're going to do is we're going to get polished deep slate on the edge like this. We'll probably break some of this eventually, but we have some of that there. And then we're going to take this. We're basically going to make large pillars of this on these two edges like this, going all the way up to the top. So just like this. And of course, once you're on top of the walls, it's very easy just to hold down right click and go up like this. And this just kind of add some more support to these walls. So I'm going to put up all these eight columns and I'll bring it back once I've done that. All right, we now have our super awesome deep slate support pillars. Now we're gonna put what's between these pillars here. We're gonna have ourselves some black stained glass panes, some deep slate bricks, some polished deep slate stairs, and some polished deep slate walls. Now we're gonna have deep slate walls like this and some glass like this so it connects. We can actually jump up on here as an easy way to get up on the walls. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up two like this so we have a two tall window like that. Then we're going to put ourselves some deep slate bricks like that, and we're going to actually put two layers of deep slate bricks. What we're going to do with these stairs now, we're just going to put one pair of stairs like this. I'll we'll have to jump down and put one pair of stairs like that. So we basically have this kind of pattern right here as an area between the windows. And you can see here that is four blocks tall because this is part of the second one, so that's kind of part of that ledge. So now again, we're going to return to the same thing. We're going to have the deep slate walls like this, the glass pane like that, and then just copy this uh, once. And it's basically just an interesting pattern we can use to get ourselves a really nice uh, wall pattern. Right? This is something that's quite detailed. That's always important in a wall, especially if it's repeating. It needs to be something that's quite interesting. And this is a really interesting pattern overall. And again, this is four blocks tall, so we're also going to have three tall roofs because they're obviously one block wide floor. So I'm going to repeat this all the way up here. All right, now that we're at the top here, what we're going to do is we're going to just place ourselves deep slate bricks on either side and then just have one polished deep slate stairs going upwards like this. So now I have this one side done and you can see what that wall pattern looks like from the outs from the inside. And from the outside, I think it looks super cool and has a nice kind of semi-square look to it. We're going to repeat the super cool pattern on the other three sides as well. Uh, except for not uh, this side here, and I'll go over that uh, in a second here. So I'm going to repeat that and I'll bring it back. All right, I've now finished all three sides except for this side, and this side I'll do in a second, but we want to make this into the entrance side. So what we're going to do is we're going to break these blocks right here all like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself some more of these spruce logs and place them in just in like this, like basically making ourselves a bit of a frame to work with. It's a little bit out from the rest of the building, and we'll get rid of this. Then we're going to want to get a bit more of this in here like this and also get ourselves something like this in there between the cracks. Strip all this. This is going to be where the door is going to go. All right, now we're just going to make the frame around this door. We're going to go up two blocks like this. Then we're going to grab the polished deep slate stairs and go like this and like this. We're going to put one block there and we're going to put one block like this and like this and one block here. Then of course we'll just finish that up on the other end like this, like this and placing these here and there. And you can see we have a very nice pretty doorway. Then we're just going to continue this pattern up from where it was. So I'll do that in just a second here. I think I'm actually out of fireworks. So I'll just use a bit of the scaffolding I have with me. And we're actually going to use the scaffolding for the way to get up and down this building, which is going to be super awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to just get ourselves some bricks and place them there as if there was nothing there. And then we're just going to start the pattern uh, from right where we left off. So we're going to go like this and basically get ourselves our slab, our stairs here, and then basically go up. So we're going to have the glass, two up like this, 
and like this and you can see we'll just continue the pattern like that. So I'll be back once I finish this all the way to the top. I'm at the top once again and before we work on the scaffolding coming up in the floors and what I'm just going to basically do is surround this all like this in some deep slate bricks all around like this. This is going to cover these and have a nice uh, solid block base to work from when we're working on the rest of the build. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back down here. I guess I'll break this scaffolding since I don't really need it anymore and let that all break. And then we're also going to grab ourselves all of the, uh, what is it called again? All the calcite we have. So we're going to grab all that and we're going to grab all this. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm thinking that the ladder would go best someplace either here or here. And I'm thinking I'll probably put it on this edge right here. Oh, well, really this edge is fine too. So we might as well do this edge. So I'm just going to go up like this and basically look up every once in a while to see if I've gotten it high enough. I probably haven't quite yet. And it looks like it is high enough. That's good. So what we're going to do is you can see here there is a nice natural place to put a roof like this. So you can basically look out like that. Uh, you could look out like this, but I think it'd look better if you're looking at like this uh, instead of looking out like this. And that would work better with everything overall. So we're basically going to make a floor at that point right there. And then we're going to repeat that on every single layer of the building. Thankfully, we do have a lot of calcite, and it's not actually too many floors. Uh, I don't know if I have actually any torches with me, uh, but if not, I'll get some. Uh, I have a couple. Uh, but basically, you'll probably want to put one or two torches on the middle of every single floor so you don't get any hostile mobs spawning. So again, we'll just put some uh, more calcite up here like this. And I think calcite is just a really pretty block that works well because not only does it contrast, but then we're kind of keeping in the theme of using as many 1.17 blocks as we can. And we're just going to keep going up all the way like that. All right, now one last thing we're going to want to do before we work on the final roof bit is putting some trap doors all along here. So basically what we're going to do is at every point with this upper stair facing up is a good thing to look at or right below where these windows are. We're going to put singular trap doors like that, not all the way around because they kind of conflict there, but singular trap doors like this all the way around add a bit more detail. It actually works super well. And it just, it's amazing how much these little trapdoors can really fix it. And then right here, we're going to put two like that because they fit like that around these edges. But just here, we won't do them all the way up. So just two like that. And we're basically going to repeat that all the way up. Now, this can be a bit difficult to get up to. Something you could do is fly up like that and then kind of let yourself land down. Uh, there's a lot of different techniques to doing this. But overall, it just adds tons of detail. You can also do this earlier on in the build. That's completely up to you. But overall, I just find it really does add a lot. So I'm going to add these all across the entire building. And I'll be right back uh, once I'm done with that. Alright, we know the trap doors on the side of this tower and you can see it really does improve the look a lot. What we're also going to do up here is we're actually going to place three trap doors on each side, uh, three trap doors. We're going to place one like that, we're going to place one like that, and we're going to place one like that, and of course flip them down like this. This will just give the illusion of extra support up here and basically just give us a really nice pretty looking thing up here to really just uh, make this look like it's the top and the end and kind of has a bit of a uh, support there. Oh, it just fell off, but you yeah, know, the trower thing is looking really awesome. I'm hoping that uh, it's look even better once we're done with it. But this is just going to be a really cool place just to be able to look out over our world and basically just enjoy everything we've built, you know, and I think uh, overall it should be super awesome. So there's that. Uh, what we're going to want to do now is get ourselves these uh, chiseled deep slates and put them on every single corner piece here like this. Then we're going to want to grab ourselves these fences right here, these spruce, uh, spruce fences like this, uh, and put them around there like this. This is going to give us some nice uh, railing so we don't fall off the edge, and kind of also some support, maybe some defense if you're being attacked. I don't know about you, but these always remind me of shulker boxes, I'm not sure why. 
but uh, we'll put those there like this. And then from here, we should be able to actually just jump right up. Yeah, that should be the case. So we just have to go up three, I believe. So one, two, three. We'll go over there uh, like this. One, two, three. Over here like this. One, two, three. And over here like this. Uh, one, two, three. And this is what's going to be holding up the roof. We'll actually go up one more on each of these just so that we have an extra little bit of support at the top. And the roof has a bit more support to it. So I guess we'll have to break this and replace that. So I'll be right back once I've done that. Back down on the ground here, we're going to grab ourselves a couple things before we finish this off. I'm actually going to craft a whole bunch of amethyst uh, compasses once we're up there. I just, or telescopes that is. Uh, once I'm up there, I just do not want to do it right here. I won't have enough room. We also want to grab all this cut copper and these three lightning rods and I'll show you why. Uh, we're going to go up here on top of one of these hopefully. Yes, perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically uh, on the side here put copper there and copper there and of course this will eventually turn green which is pretty cool too and basically put copper across here like this connecting these up all like that. So it goes one, two, three, four, five. Now we're just going to go five across here like this, making a super cool roof with this copper. And of course, the bit of support here is going to really make it look a lot more like it blends into the rest of the build, which is also going to be good. And this is just to overall make it be, of course, we don't get rained on when we're possibly looking out. And also, it's going to be something that will age with the build, which is super cool because that's basically the coolest part of copper. That there's some history to it, right? So you can actually see how long something's been up by how tarnished the copper is, as it does take several hundred Minecraft days, I believe, to fully oxidize a piece of copper, which is actually a lot of uh, time spent in the game if you think about it. So we're going to put this all the way around like this, and we're almost at the top. And these corner pieces, I think, are really adding a lot to this. So we're just going to place one in like that. And we're going to put in, I believe, just one block like this. Yeah, something like this. And then go around like this, like this, like this, like this, and like this. There we go. We got a little bit of extra. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves this, and we're actually just going to use... Oh, no, actually, that's fine. We're going to have the two lightning rods. Now, what we're going to do... Oh, we just dropped that. We'll grab that in a second. Is we're going to place this here. We're actually going to place this here like this. Now, on top of this, we're going to place uh, two lightning rods like that. I think that looks good. Uh, we could put a third, I suppose, because uh, why not really? And this is basically just going to be a nice kind of spike on the top. I mean, it will function as a lightning rod too, which is pretty awesome. It'll probably protect our villagers. Although I'm not actually sure if it's close enough for that. And finally, we're going to get ourselves out these super cool chests. Probably actually put them maybe one in the middle here, or maybe actually one like uh, this. And then we're going to put the rest uh, below here like this. This could be like the storage room. And uh, we'll just kind of put some like this, and maybe we'll put some at the bottom. And these are just going to be to store uh, telescopes because this whole building, what's so cool about this is that it also, uh, the whole point of this building is basically to use off a feature of 1.17, which is the telescope. So we're going to go down here, place ourselves a chest down here too. We're just going to empty out a bunch of our useless items that we really don't need right now uh, at all, really. Grab, uh, throw them all in there like that. And then we're just going to craft ourselves up 16 telescopes like this, which is awesome. And we're going to put in here four telescopes per chest. So we'll just lay those out like that nice and decoratively. And then we'll actually have a really cool supply of telescopes to work with. Uh, we'll see how long it takes to get to the top of our tower. Now, of course, if you're building a similar tower in your own world, uh, this can be as tall or as short as you want it. You can always add more or less modules. Uh, we'll add in uh, four into each of these here, too. And, of course, this is cool, too, because we have these nice spy windows to look out over the world. Maybe even a nice defensive position. And just overall a really nice uh, build, I think, to add in this area. And it really connects our area with the village as well. So we'll put these uh, three telescopes in here for now. And we're actually going to use the fourth to finally use off our telescope uh, lookout tower here. And we can kind of look this way. We can look at our house. We can look at our village. Overall, a super cool thing. Let's take one uh, final look at the tower. That we oh, goodness, that nearly killed me. Uh, we'll take one final look at the telescope tower that we've made. I think it's looking super awesome, but we'll take a good look at that. Now, I think that's looking super, super cool. We have our really nice entrance over here. We might connect that up later with some path blocks. But overall, we have a super, super cool uh, telescope uh, tower right here. I think it's awesome. If you guys enjoyed this Minecraft video with me building this tower, make sure to press the like button. Make sure to subscribe to see more content like this. Make sure to comment down on the video what you thought of this video. And make sure to share it with your friends. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!